Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today's video, guys, we're going to be looking at a really cool Lost March deck that uses Weavile with Rule of Evil instead of using a Molga. Uh, this was actually played in Melbourne by a player named Joshua Bradley. Uh, he played the deck, got 42nd place in Melbourne. I know Melbourne is like just a couple months old now, but uh, this is an archetype that uh, I think can definitely be talked about um, because it could be kind of fun right now. Uh, for a Lost March deck. Lost March has kind of been on and off with its success. It's like It maybe sees play and then it doesn't see play and it just kind of flip-flops between seeing play and not seeing play um, And uh, this Weavile build I like quite a bit actually um, One of the issues I've always had with the Lost March Amolga build is how much I brick with the deck. It's actually tormenting me how much I brick with the Lost March Amolga. So the Weavile build gives you more leverage and you actually have another good attacker that can be really devastating to the opponent while you kind of get all your lost marches going. Before we get into today's PDCGO video guys, of course shout out to the sponsor Card Capper TCG. If you guys are ever looking for any PDCGO codes for any set for Team Up, Lost Thunder, or Celestial Storm, actually Card Capper just got a nice big restock on Team Up so get them while they're still there. And uh, if you guys are ever looking for any GX codes for Jolteon GX boxes or Waylord GX boxes, um, Make sure to go check out Cover TCG, and you can use discount code code LDF. Get yourself a 5% discount on your order. So now let's get into the list. So it's a Lost March deck. Um, you got your Nat 2s, you got your Skip Blooms, you got your Jump Pluffs, you got your Train Quills. Uh, the Jump Pluff lines are pretty good. Jump Pluff can hit Wailer and Magikarp. You can also hit Lycanroc GX for weakness. Nat 2 obviously goes through Lucario GX and Buzzwolves, uh, which is really strong. And then you have Weavile. So, Weavile's Rule of Evil will do 60 damage to each Pokemon I play that has an ability. There are some downsides to this. You might end up hitting your own Oranguru and your own Marshadow. Um, Joshua Bradley's list actually played two Orangurus. I've actually cut them both all together. Or actually, I've cut I've cut one, sorry. Uh, and I just thrown in an extra draw supporter because I just feel like you don't need to have that. I, it's actually better not play Oranguru sometimes, but it is still good to have it in the deck, obviously. There's going to be times where you don't need to use Weavile. Uh, Rule of Evil can uh, do a lot of things. You can hit Jirachis, you can hit Zeroras, you can hit Ditto, Zoark GXs, Tapu Leles, just to name a few. And uh, if you let Rule of Evil just keep doing its thing, you'll end up just taking a bunch of prizes. Um, I actually got a really good game where Rule of Evil was just bonkers. So Lost March is its own archetype, aside from the Weavile engine. Uh, obviously the goal is to just put Pokemon in the Lost Zone. You can do that with Skip Bloom's ability, which puts Hoppip and Skip... Uh, and skip them into the good loss zone. And then you get a jump up into play for free. Uh, and then obviously Tranquil or tr I keep thinking this is Tranquil. I don't know, I might have said that earlier. I apologize. I keep getting Trumbeak and Tranquil mixed up because they're the same Pokemon, basically. Um, Trumbeak has the ability Mountain Press where you can play it. Uh, look, you know, from your hand, look at your opponent's top card of their deck, and the supporter card, throw a loss zone. Trumbeak goes a loss zone. Uh, really powerful ability here. It just literally is a free 80 damage. And uh, we have Lost Blender to help us out. Obviously, the Amolga build used Amolga's ability with Lost Blender to try and get things in Lost Zone, but we're just going to be instead just using Lost Blender with what we have to work in our hand. Um, and that's basically it for the Pokemon. Uh, again, we got the 2 2 Weavile line with Rule of Evil. We got the Drinker of Mark Shadow. Let Loose is pretty good. Um, so now we go into the items. Uh, pretty straightforward. There's just four Great Balls, which you see a lot in Lost March decks. Great Ball, looking at the top seven cards of your deck. Reveal a Pokemon, put it in your hand. Uh, obviously there's Lost Blender here which allows us to put stuff in the Lost Zone, draw a card. Uh, it's good, it can be good at acceleration for draw and also it gets you free damage basically. Uh, we are playing three Nest or Net Balls. Net Ball is really good at being able to get your Hop Pips down really early on. You can also get your Grass Energies for when you need to do uh, Lost March or Rule of Evil. You got four Pokemon Communications, really important card if you have Jump Pluff in your hand. Uh, you can't really get it into play with Skip Bloom. You can put it back in the deck and get a Skip Bloom. Uh, one Rescue Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. And I have Bumpy Draw Supporters. I don't even know if Joshua Bradley played Erika's. I can't remember. I know, actually, I think I think I removed a Shrine. He had a Shrine, a Punishment, and another Oranguru. And I actually removed the Shrine and the Oranguru. The Shrine is good because you do need a Counter Stadium, but I just found that it's not, I don't know, I just didn't need it. So uh, I just bumped the Draw Support count. The one thing that I hate about Lost March is bricking... You can brick really badly with Lost March. It happens a lot. So I've just bumped up the Erica's count. I've just bumped the draw support count. 
for Lily, for Cynthia, for Erica, because I am tired of bricking with Lost March. This is literally why I don't play Lost March, because I just brick with it way too much. Specifically, well, the Amolga version. Uh, two Guzmas, um, four DCs, obviously for Natu, and then four Grass Energy here for our Jump Bluff. Super Boost Energy is also interesting if you ever run into Shuckle. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the uh, deck here. Now let's uh, go get some matches with it. Alright guys, let's go get some matches with Lost March Weavile. See what the deck can do here on PDCGO. And we're up against Dylan Becker. Playing a water deck. This might be um, Naganadel Quagsire, which to be fair is probably good for us considering we are a grass deck and we have a way to take out Quagsires and Naganadels with Weavile. So this might be a good game. Uh, we're gonna start with Sneasel. Not the greatest starting hand. We have a bunch of Pokemon. No communications, no hop hits. Not a great start. We're gonna have to Cynthia and hope that it gives us a better hand. And go from there. But I do think Rule of Evil is really good in this matchup. Just at dealing with these nice ability based Pokemon. Magic Art Wailord is something we can easily take down. So it's not a threat. I get. Okay, maybe to be fair, Towering Splash might be scary. Because actually, there might not be anything on our entire bench that can take a hit from it. So maybe this Towering Splash will be a little scary. I don't, we'll see. I don't know. Towering Splash might be a problem, but if we're able to use Weavile and knock out Quagsires and Articunos all in one blow, we don't have to worry about Whale or Carp as much. And having the Lele down is good for us. So I don't know. This Towering Splash literally could lose us the game, but we'll see. There's a Brooklyn Hill. Sadly, we can't take advantage of that. Oh, he's playing a Blastoise version. Okay. No Quagsires. It's gonna be an Ultra Ball for my opponent. I'm kind of scared of Towering Splash. That literally could, that could lose us the game. Uh, we'll see if he has a turn two Blastoise or not. He's gonna double down on Squirtle. Squirtle's ability um, doesn't matter. So if somehow we were able to Rule of Evil him here. We would actually knock out both Squirtles. It's fine though. See if we can set up here. Drew an energy. Uh, we did find one Hop Hip, which is good. More hop if you find the better. Well, Brooklyn Hill. Nothing there. Well, Cynthia. I might retreat Sneasel. Actually, that's probably not. Never mind. Um, okay, we didn't get many other hop hips. We did get another one, though. Uh, we didn't get much going, though, on this first turn. Uh, we're probably going to lose our Sneasel here. That's a little disappointing. I can go for Sneaky Smash. But if he has Blastoise, it probably doesn't matter. Somebody is calling me right now. Okay, so I think I go for the Sneaky Smash. I don't want to give him a DC though, but if we can basically force him to have to have the Blastoise, I feel a little better about this. I'd rather lose Sneasel than Hop-Up anyways, so I'm fine with this. Uh, this just slows him down a little bit. Force him to get Blastoise in play, which, yep, he had. That's pretty bad. He is down a few energies though. I don't know, maybe by some crazy chance to whiff off a powerful squall. And mind, he has an energy recycler in his hand. That just went out the window. Hopefully he doesn't attack me here. There's like a pretty much a 0% chance that won't happen though. And we'll see if we can take down the Articuno. And he whiffed. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Uh, we actually have a really good hand here. We can play Erica, which I like. So we'll go for the Erica's Fatality, and we'll go for Rule of Evil here. Um, we'll play this. We did not find a Weavile. That's not really cool. We actually found no energy either. So if we don't hit, um, we don't hit Weavile. Ooh, we did hit a Cynthia though. That makes me feel a little better about this, just a little bit. Um, if you do Lost Blender, which I'll definitely do. We'll do the Great Ball first. Ah, no Rule of Evil. We did get a, a Mar Shadow though, which I think I'll play. I know we'll end up hitting it, but whatever. I think we'll go for the Blender here. Get rid of a Guzman and a Lily. And there it is. We don't even have to play down the Mar Shadow. I don't really think we need to. So we'll just go for the uh, Floral Path. We'll hold the Mar Shadow. We don't have to play it. That was a pretty good Lost Blender. Uh, we had to sacrifice a couple Spores, but we're gonna be able to do Rule of Evil hit. Five Pokemon, and we're gonna knock out that Squirtle, which is good. The only thing that's threatening me is Towering Splash GX. 
so I might have to do a carefully timed Oranguru to stop it. But I might get a, I get, I, 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 ooh, I can't talk today. I might get a moment where I might be able to Guzma this up and knock it out. He's probably gonna Jet Geyser though and take out one of my Jump Plugs. I, I didn't consider the Volcanian. It's fine though. The more Rule of Evil is the better. We're gonna be still taking a lot of prizes. If he just lets me Rule of Evil him, I mean we're gonna win the game. So, that's good. There's a Lily for three. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to have a carefully timed Oranguru. And not a knockout. So he's actually not even gonna Jet Geyser, which is really good. But he's building up to Talon's Splat. Uh, there's a Nat too. I don't want to play down too many Pokemon and give him like an insane amount of prizes. Uh, we could Guzma the Tapu Lele up. Mm, I don't really see a point in that. I think I'm just gonna go for Cynthia. Let's try and get more Hop Hips. We're gonna need to get a Ranguru eventually. We didn't get any other Sneasels actually. Maybe that would have been good too to find a couple Sneasels here. Uh, I guess we'll Marshadow him then. I don't know. I need to be careful, but I don't think he's gonna hit me with the Tower Splash right away. We'll see. Okay, we have Pokecom. That can get us an Oranguru. I can't really use it now, though, because I'll Rule of Evil myself, and I'll still get Tower Splash, and oh, we hit a Guzma off of the Trumbeak. Alright, we're 2-2 two two on Trumbeak. That's really good. Pokecom. Yeah, what a Sneasel. What is Bank on the fact he doesn't have a Tower Splash here? We're gonna take multiple prizes, so this feels pretty good. Be taking a couple prizes, and uh, we'll see what it is. We got a Cynthia, which is huge. So if he doesn't knock me out and win the game with Tower and Splash, uh, we should be able to win here. There's a Lost Blender. I might have to have a jump up in the active spot actually for Tower and Splash. We'll see what happens. It doesn't look like he's going for it this turn. Um, if we had a Guzma right now, I would 100% knock this thing out and win the game. So this is going to be a very close match, I think. It's going to come down to who can get what. Um, but we are one rule of evil away from winning the game also, so... It doesn't look too good for my opponent. If we can draw a Pokemon here, we should be able to win the game because we can just go rule of evil and just win. And if he doesn't knock me out, we win the game. So he has to knock me out this turn in order to save himself. So we should wrap this up with rule of evil, showing off the strength of rule of evil. Even in a deck like Lost March, rule of evil can still find a home. So we're showing off why Revile is really good in here. And I mean, one other way we could win is just by cleaning the game up with Lost March. On this big Waylord card, do I even have enough damage in my, oh, I actually don't. I only have 100 damage? Yeah, I only have 100 damage going on right now in the Lost Zone, which isn't enough to knock this thing out, but it's fine. So Cynthia, he can take two prizes here on my Mars Shadow, which is fine. Again, all we need to do is draw an energy and we win the game. Or not an energy, sorry, we just need to draw one card and win. And this should be it for the match if my opponent doesn't... Okay, so he's going to take the two prizes, which is fine. Oh, he's actually going to Jet Geyser me. I think we still let him bring out Mars Shadow. I don't really care about that. We're still going to say, well, you have to take your prizes, and if you don't knock out this Weavile, we're still going to win the game, because we should just find an energy and we can win on the, uh, on the Rule of Evil. So he has to attack me here. I know what he was trying to do. He wanted me to bring out Sneasel or... Uh, jump up and yeah, he's gonna take the prizes so the game ain't over yet we still might not draw the levile energy we still have our stretcher too which can help us out we still have two net balls still have most of our energy i don't think we prize any energy and if not we could still just go lost march here attacking with jump bluff while the whalers in the active tower splash only does 10 to me which won't KO me so yeah all we need to do is rule of evil and we win so let's see if we can find it that's a Pokemon, and that will get us me or Weavile. I think it's in the deck. Yes, it is. How much energy do we got? We got two Netballs, and we are six on energies. So we got pretty low chances of whiffing, I would like to say. Hopefully, I might, I might, might. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. All right, and there's the energy, and that's game. So Weavile winning us the game against a Blastoise deck. We're gonna knock out both the Blastoise and the Lele here to take three prize cards. That's how you do it, folks. Your rule of evil for the win. I think if my opponent knocked me out of Articuno, we would have been in a bit of a worse spot. But we still had a Jump Pluff, which could still take the majority of our prizes. If a Jump Pluff was ever in the active spot and he towering splashed me, we would still win the game. So I think that game was still winnable. But that is the strength of rule of evil. We literally just took all of our prizes with rule of evil, dude. All six prizes were taken with rule of evil. That's pretty dang exciting. And that's the strength of it in Lost March. And uh, let's just go on to another match.
Alright guys, let's go move into another game. After that pretty epic win against that Blastoise deck, that was pretty good. And it could have gotten scary too. Once Wailord Magikarp got 8 energy on it, we would have literally just lost the game because Towering Splash would have just wiped our entire board. So yeah, Rule of Evil is the MVP. That's why Rule of Evil can be really good sometimes. We didn't use any Lost Marchers, we just spammed Rule of Evil until we took all of our prizes. But yeah, that's why Revile's Rule of Evil attack is so deadly. It's just because you can do insane things like that. Alright, so we're going to get another game here. Looks like we're against potentially Gardevoir, which I think we can beat. Gardevoir shouldn't be too bad. We do have a lot going for us, so we'll go for the coin flip here. We do lose it. That's unfortunate. Depending on what kind of abilities he puts down, I don't know if we're going to need Weavile. It looks like we're actually going to be revealing the Weavile here off of our mulligan, which is not really cool. So I'm predicting this is going to be a uh, Gardevoir deck. It might be Gardevoir Ninetales. I saw Water. I don't think it's going to be Gardevoir Sylveon. Okay, we got a Natu start. Not the worst starting hand in the world. Double Great Ball is pretty good. Netball for Hoppip is nice. Just need a draw supporter. That's, again, one of the things you'll run into this deck is just bricking, and uh, we do not have a draw supporter, so we might have a stuck hand here if we don't get into Ranguru or Marshadow or draw supporter. Uh, so he's going to Ultra Ball away Fibbler and Cynthia. I might actually, I might value Rule of Evil in this matchup because getting 60 damage on a Gardevoir can actually be really relevant. Gardevoir's 230 HP makes it really hard to one-shot when we don't have Choice Band and we took out the Shrine from the deck. So I actually think it might be a good thing to spam Rule of Evil. And we might only hit 40 on the active Gardevoir too because of that Dark Resistance, but I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't mind getting extra damage. On these Gardevoirs Weavile, there might actually be some value to it. It looks like he's gonna have a lot of abilities in play anyways with Nine Tails and Tackle Lele. Do a Jump Pluff, not helping. We'll Mountain Press. Alright, we know he's gonna draw a DCE. We'll see if Natu actually does live the turn too. Uh, we'll Netball for Hop Pip. Before I play any of this down, I am going to probably try and Guzma up the Vulpix or something. Uh, Great Ball will give us a Sneasel and a Marshadow. We gotta take that Marshadow. Alright, so we're not gonna do Guzma here, so we can play down you. Do another Great Ball. We got another Hop Pip. We'll take that. Just wanna build up Lost March damage. And we'll hit him with a Marshadow, and we gotta hope we hit a Lily here off of this Marshadow. We didn't. We did get an Erica's Hospitality, though. We had a Lost Blender. I could play that. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna sit. Just gonna sit there. We could have uh, Erica for four, but I'd rather just do Cynthia, and there we go. We actually got a good hand off of that, so we'll do this. We know he's going to draw Fairy Energy. We got two more Great Balls coming. And another Hop Pip. Do I take it? No, I think I'll take the Skip Bloom, because we have the Net Ball in our hand. That can get us a Hop Pip, too. Play this for another Hop Pip, I guess. Sure. Could have saved it for Energy. And we'll plop a Rangaroo down, I think. No, we'll wait a turn, yeah. We'll, we'll wait a turn to play Rangaroo. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's fine, we'll play Rangaroo, screw it. All right, we'll pass. I don't know if I really needed to play Rangaroo. Obviously, I'm not gonna draw any cards this turn, but I think it's still fine just to fill the bench up. I might just give him a free Erica's Hospitality for six, but we'll wait and see. But we got the best turn one we could have asked for. We got three hop ups in play. That's what you wanna do. You want to basically try and get as many hop as you can on your first turn. Looks like he got the Rare Candy Garvor off of my Marshadow for four. That's pretty disappointing. That's... Oh. Great RNG there, game. Great RNG. If he has a Guzma, I'm going to be a little worried because he'll knock out Hop Hip probably. Well, no, to be fair, he can't. Secret Spring only... Or if Enforcer, it only does 30. Alright. <laughs> it looks like his hand is actually completely empty which is really good all right nice so the marsh shadow actually did stick which is kind of surprising if i'm gonna be honest with you so we'll play the floral path get the jump pluff into play so now we got four boys in lost zone and we'll try and knock out the rolls this turn so cynthia looking for more skip blooms didn't find any more we did get the dc though which is good we'll get rid of weavile and just get another skip bloom of course that's not skip bloom <laughs> that's skip bloom so yeah we'll go for the uh Knockout, I think. Pretty good with that. Just get rid of more Ralts. His hand is also empty, so he's gonna probably be in top deck mode for a little bit. So how much are we doing? 80, we're doing 120 damage. So not a whole lot of damage, but it is enough 
to stick the pressure on and force him to just have to do something because we're gonna be running him over there's another dc probably just go for lily here probably depending on what he draws so he's in top deck mode he can take a prize so he's gonna be able to get an extra card here this turn thanks to the knockout he'll get on the nat two we'll draw an extra card and we'll see if it's gonna help him out or not see what he does here will he draw a lily no he drew a diopha which will give him his draw supporter he's probably gonna get back ralts and i'm guessing the cynthia he might get netball too just to thin the deck out even more we'll see i'm predicting that ralts is coming back though that's like a given he's gonna get a supporter and a ralts here probably unless like he's just so confident off of his next top deck and his prize we'll see we'll see what he gets back i am predicting the ralts and a draw supporter though. I would get the nest ball, yeah, because it thins your deck. There you go, boom. Cool. Uh, what? Yeah, they got the Cynthia back, right? No, they didn't. Wait, what did they get back then? The Ultra Ball? I'm actually kind of confused. Oh no, they're going for Ranguru instead. Okay, never mind. Interesting that they're doing the Ranguru. I mean, it does still give them three cards, but still, you never know. They're gonna knock me out, and that's fine. A bit their prize. We're probably not gonna knock out the guard with this turn. Like, I honestly don't think we can do enough damage to this thing. We'll see what we can muster up. Just do the Weavile right back. Uh, we'll probably just do the Erica's Hospitality then for four. No energy! Oh, you hate to see it. We're gonna have to give up Marshadow then. Oh, crap. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Sneasel down because then I wouldn't have done that. Dang it. Okay, well, what I might do is I might Guzma the Rank Groove up and then do Rule of Evil. I might do that, we'll see. I want we'll let him knock on the Marsh Shadow. He does have to commit more energy to knock me out, which is I guess like decent. Does he have a Guzma though? He could take out one of my hop hips here with that Tapu Lele. Or just infinite force retreat. No, he's gonna knock me out. Alright, so that's fine. We'll give him the free prize. I don't really care about Marsh Shadow. If anything, I don't want it on the board for night games. Alright. See we draw here. Another DC, I think we just go with Natu then. I don't mind the idea of Guzmin up the right Guru, but I don't really see a point in doing it right now. I'd rather just get damage on something like it. We'll uh, probably just play another Air Crystal Fatality. And alright, we got some goodies. We got a, another Jump Pluff we can put in play. We don't have enough cards really to knock him out. If I like drew the most insane hand with Pokemon, we probably could have hit him like really hard, but we're not going to be able to. We're just, at the very most... Be able to mount press. Ooh, Viridian Forest. That actually kind of helps me out quite a bit. So, there is. Well, we're not knocking him out, I know that much, but we'll see how much we're doing here. I think we're doing 180. Yeah, 180. So, he's one Rule of Evil away from getting KO'd, which we can do. We're probably going to bring out the Oranguru here and just hit Rule of Evil, knock out the Gardevoir. I want to bring another Gardevoir GX into the play, though, before we do Rule of Evil. That would be more preferred. I don't want to just waste. I actually also would like him to get put a Nine Tails into play before I do Rule of Evil. I'm kind of scared of Ace Roller though. Oh, that could be really bad. If he Ace Rollers here, uh, this is going to be a hard game to win. So, because he's played a few energy down, I am tempted to try and trap the Oranguru in the active spot. I think I'm going to do that here. He didn't get the other Gardevoir in play, which is whatever though. I think we are going to go for that Weavile play. We'll Guzma the Oranguru up and try and stall it. We'll hit our own Oranguru. Not a fan of that, but it's fine have to do with the DCE though. Can't waste grass energy. Alright, we'll see if this sticks. We are going to hit our own Pokemon. Not a fan of that, but we are going to take two prizes here, which is what I am a fan of. Let's see what it is. Grass energy is good. Another Pokemon communication is decent to me. We'll see where we go from here. I don't think I will do Rule of Evil again. We will get an extra prize, and then I guess we just got to win. finish that off to win. I don't know those. Oh, he had a switch too. Are you kidding me? That's annoying. You can knock out the Lele though. So this actually works out perfectly fine. Now all we need to do is do one more Rule of Evil and we can win. So this actually works out pretty well. Rule of Evil, as you can see, is really good. Obviously, we're doing enough to one shot the Lele anyways, but you can kind of see how good this is. You know, put back the Jump Fluff. Grab another Sneasel. I could get Trumbeak actually. I don't really think I need to. I'd rather just get the Sneasel. Well, Lily for two. We got Lost Blender. Uh, we could throw away Lily and Skip Bloom, which I am gonna do. Just keep thinning. 
think I've jumped up there. We'll knock him out. So we're doing 200 damage, which is quite a bit of damage. We need to get a couple more guys in the last one, and we can start one-shotting Gardevoir. There's a hot pip, there's another energy. Not what I'm really looking for, but all we need to do is take one more prize when we win the game. We're doing 200, so he has to attack him with Gardevoir this turn. Does he have another Diantha or something? Or does Diantha not work with Fairy types? Okay, it's only with Fairy Pokemon, so yeah. Ooh, he could go with Xerneas, but that won't save him because he'll still get knocked out. He has to like go in with something that has enough HP to survive a hit here from Lost March. And he has to hope that I do not hit my Rule of Evil. Actually, I will tie the game if I do Rule of Evil if he doesn't take a prize this turn. So yeah, maybe it's better to just go for the Lost March play. I don't know. Gonna kind of come down to what we can do here, to be honest with you. What am I doing Lost Blender? Because we can just chuck away the jump off from the hot pit. And then we just basically guarantee the 230 damage. We're doing 240. So my opponent did not find any Gardevoir here. He loot or my opponent. I don't know if it's a guy or girl. I, am, I apologize if I called you guy girl. Ooh, they're gonna Guzma. It looks like they're gonna bring out a Ringaru. And we still have one DC left in the deck, so we can try and draw that. I don't really think this saves them though, unless they set up a snowy wind play. I'll just attach to Ringaru though. We do have rather Guzma. I don't know if it's in the deck or not. There's a beacon, so they're getting ready for probably a snowy wind play. Yeah, double nine tails. Alright, can we just draw Guzma to wrap this game up? We drew Lost Blender, which is perfect, which means we can knock out Gardevoir now. That's not Guzma. So we'll do this. We'll just set up for the retreat. Ooh, rescue stretcher. I think I'm gonna hold that. We're just gonna pass. Alright, so what can my opponent do here? They have double nine tails, which will guarantee Gardevoir, because they can just get rare candy, Ultra Ball, and all kinds of stuff with double nine tails. So they don't have to worry too much about not getting Gardevoir here. What they do have to worry about is we have enough Pokemon in the Lost Zone right now to be hitting for 240 damage with Lost March. They're in quite a conundrum here. Plus they have to retreat the nine tails. Like they can go for the Snowy Wind, which will KO me, but that's not gonna help them. They're still gonna lose the game from Lost March. I don't really see how my opponent can win this. Considering we can also just retreat right here. They'd have to like judge me this turn and then hope I don't draw a Guzma or an energy. That's like the only way I can see them getting out of this. They can Guzma, Infinite Force, Knockout, Jump Bluff, but again, that's not really gonna help them. Because we still have two energies in our hands, so like we're guaranteed to win. Or we can just tie the game with Rule of Evil. So we have a few outs to winning this game. We have a couple of outs. There's energy retrieval. They already did their ability in attachment, so it looks like they're not going to have Snowy Wind in here. Unless they have a switch with Ninetales here. It's not going to matter though, because we just come in with Lost March and pummel them for a ton of it. We are doing 240. Next game, Lost March beating Gardevoir. I think Gardevoir is a pretty standard matchup. I think it's one you can definitely beat. It's just kind of kind of come down to how do they go off with their Ninetales. Ninetales can hurt you because they can set up multiple KOs with Snowy Wind. So there's a lot that can go wrong in the matchup, but I do think Gardevoir is pretty favored. I do think the matchup is pretty favored. You just gotta know what you're doing, I guess, or just be really lucky with how you go. And they're just gonna have to enforce me, which won't save them because we can just come in and Lost March them. We can also try and get Trumbeak here just to do 260 damage. Uh, not even a Wonders Labyrinth would have saved them. I guess that's more reason to run Super Boost Energy, by the way. There's a DC. Uh, you're one card off as always. So we're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna guarantee the win here with Trumby. I know I'm doing enough damage, but like, I am very cautious. But we were able to put most of our Pokemon in the Lost Zone, which is, in a matchup like this, where they have high HP Pokemon, it's really good. And we weren't going to be able to win with Rule of Evil. Well, Rule of Evil did its job, though, I would say, at 260 damage. Just being sure we were doing enough to take down the big beast known as Gardevoir. And that is how you beat Gardevoir, folks. Uh, Gardevoir Sylveon is kind of bad. They can actually plea your Jump Luffs, which could be pretty devastating. Because you have, like, no way to get them back into play. Because there's no way you can retrieve your Poppets and Skiff But that was a good game. We showed off the deck pretty well there. And that first match was also pretty darn epic and that's what lost march weavile is all about folks i think i'm actually gonna wrap today's pizza video here uh, i gotta do some shorter videos just for this week uh, it's exam week so it's like the final week of college for me 
So after this week, uh, I'm going to have a lot of free time because I'm going to be in my summer. I am looking to getting a better job. Uh, but I'm still going to be uploading daily come summer. Everything's going good. Next week, Avengers Endgame's coming out. I'm seeing that on Thursday next week. And then literally one week from Thursday, Unbroken Bonds is going to be um, on PDCGO. So it's, I'm looking forward to I, I just got to get through this week, man. I just got to get through all of my exams, which I only have four of. I guess one I don't need to study for because we're allowed to cheat sheet. And I already kind of know the basics of that. But yeah, next week's going to be pretty exciting. Summer's going to be pretty lit. Uh, on Broken Bonds Endgame coming out within a week of each other, which is just, I don't know, that, that, that makes me way too excited. Anyways, thanks for watching today's PDC Joe video. If you enjoyed me, so the video, don't forget to subscribe down the road to 5,000 subscribers. We're getting very close to 4,200 subscribers right now, so we're getting even closer to 5K. I'll see you guys on the PDC Joe video. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and of course, peace out. Have a good day, and check out our sponsor, Cricket Use discount code CODELDF, 5% discount on your order. I'll see you guys on the PDC Joe video. Bye.